Good morning. I'm here at far northern Queensland up in Cairns. It's a very overcast and rainy and drizzly day. My plans for climbing Mount Bargle Freya kind of gone down the toilet. Let's tackle another hike here that I wanted to do. I saw this last time. This is called Walsh's Pyramid. It's only about 20 minutes south of Cairns. You can see the main highway there, the Bruce Highway. And there's a little turn off here. Nice little car park. Six kilometer return, grade five. This is a really unique and distinct shaped mountain. Four to five hours, they say, uh, allow to do a return walk. Apparently it's a very steep grade and it's 922 meters in elevation. So in three kilometers, you do uh, a lot of ascending. So anyway, my time reads 9.30 in the morning. There we go. And we're gonna crack on with it. Let's do it. A lot of these hiking trails have these little counters. This is for Queensland Parks and Wildlife Services. They can keep a count of how many people go up and down their trails. Big slab of rock here. Here we're coming to the one kilometer mark. All along the way, probably every, I don't know, 20, 30 meters are strewn these red indicator marks. So, very, very easy to follow and navigate. Looks like there'll be some nice little rocky outcroppings to stand up on. Nothing too hard. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Now straight across from me there, I don't know the name of the range just offhand, but there's a really seriously difficult hike in there called Bell Peak North. There's a north and a south. The north you can do, I was reading up on it last night. And what I read, if you actually ever get to Bell Peak North, 100 meters below the peak, there is the remains of a Cessna plane that crashed in 1970. So I saw two pictures of it last night, the only pictures I could find. I'd love to have done that. I love finding re uh, remains of wreckage and things like that. But about 25 minutes in, and there's a really nice rock formation here. If it wasn't as slippery as it is today and wet, this would be actually quite nice just to go up there. But it's absolutely slippery like crazy. It's covered with lichen, so. There's just such evidence of a fire that's torn through here. Don't know when. Everything to the left of me is, is all burnt. To the right, it's pretty good. So. There's a lot of sugar cane farming here and they do a lot of uh, burning. I don't know, I'm just wondering if it's possible that, you know, the sugar cane that's down there and off to the north, if at some point, you know, on their burn offs, uh, you know, some ember or something floated across and ignited a fire over on this side, or maybe it just simply is uh, QPWS's controlled burn. All right, passing the first sign. 32 minutes, 1.33 kilometers. And just peeking through, I can see the summit there of Walsh's Pyramid. You know, this uh, summit is 922 meters. Just to give you a bit of reference, if you're from Southeast Queensland and you know, you think you've climbed a big mountain, Flinders Peak over at Scenic Rim might be big for you. F Flinders Peak from memory is like 673 
meters elevation. Um, so this one is still a third higher than Flinders at 922 meters high. It reminds me so much of the maroon uh, climb, a bit of Mount Barney, so similar. Take in the view for a moment. Catch your breath. All right, coming up to two kilometers. Time is quarter past 10, 48 minutes, 1.94 kilometers on my counter. This is a pretty stunning little section. So I'm getting closer to the summit, um, still a bit to go. Uh, I won't lie, it's a tough one, especially this last stretch. It's an exacting climb, very fatiguing. Now I'm starting to enter a bit of cloud and a bit of rain. So I'm expecting the visibility from the peak to kind of be very <laughs> minimal, in fact zero. And it will be a blessing if there's any view at all. Hello. On your way down? Yeah, yeah. Not much view today, eh? No. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, just enjoy the exercise, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. I've passed a total of three people, and I think that'll be it. I don't think anyone else is here. Here, yeah, I've come to the three kilometer marker. My time is 10.58, one hour, 25 minutes, 2.94 kilometers on my watch tracker so we're just about here now I think this might be it. Just gotta watch this slippery rock. Normally there would be an amazing view from here. Today we've got an amazing view of cloud. All right, I think I've come to the easternmost part. So my time reads 11.10. Getting up here was one hour and 38 minutes and 3.31 kilometers. So here we are, the summit of Walsh's Pyramid. Obviously not much of a view, but that doesn't really matter. Yes, it does. <laughs> These are very, very slippery uh, rocks. I think they're called basalt rocks. And these boulders, I tell you what. Pew! So, yeah, no messing around here. This is literally a just a, a drop off down here. There's another bit of a peak over there. But uh, this is it, Walsh's Pyramid. Now I have to be um, up front, it's, it's 
pretty taxing. It's very taxing. <laughs> Let me be more honest. There's no going up fast. I read somewhere one guy did this in 53 minutes on um, Aussie bushwalking trails or whatever that website's called. And uh, that's pretty good effort. One hour 38 minutes is what it took me. Um, and it was a hard slog. Okay, enjoy the view. Now, all over the top of Walsh's Pyramid, there's a lot of little, small little segments that can sort of go off and explore. They're really short ways to get to different boulder structures like this. But yeah, just uh, if you come up here, then go for a wander around and you'll see loads of little off tracks to some gorgeous rocky sections. You may even find yourself a trail biscuit somewhere here. So I've had a nice, real nice cruisy break up here and just um, enjoyed looking around. It would have been great if, um, you know, you could see the view and there wasn't, wasn't this cloud up here, but it is what it is. You can't always uh, pick the days that you go hiking, but I'm glad I came up here. My original intent of hiking up to Mount Bartle Freer, it, to, for it to be like this, for me, it would just be an absolute shame, you know. I want to go up there not in cloud but when it's even if it's stinking hot i'd love to go up there to see the whole panoramic view and while i'm here at josephine falls i'll just have a quick look at the entry to the trail that leads up to mount bartle freer now this is on my to-do list someday i don't have the time to do it today i'm kind of like crying on the inside but um 1622 meter high mountain queensland's biggest uh I'd love to do this now. Man, I so much want to start this trail. Oh, okay, anyways. We'll do this one next time. And um, I'll just go and cry somewhere. <laughs> so that'll be for another time. But uh, Walsh's Pyramid, this has been great. So I'm gonna time going down. It took me one hour, 38 minutes to come up here. For whatever reason, my tracker stopped, probably because I, uh, you know, put on pause and it just reset. So we're going to set it to hike again and um, give you an idea of just how long it's going to take for the descent. And this is just purely to give you an, a rough idea if you're hiking it, you know, what to expect if you're doing a fairly solid hike. Okay, dokie, let's go. Very slippery with all the lichen all over the rock, so. All right, I've been going at it for uh, 20, 28 minutes and I've just descended one kilometer. I've kind of come coming out of the cloud now. 
it is a little bit slower going than I thought it would be just because of how wet <laughs> everything is. Coming out to some of the views now, which is nice. Alright, so 37 minutes, 1.28 kilometers from the summit, time is 12.26. Okay, let's keep powering on. I love this scenery right now, this view, magic. Okay, so let me give you the number one tip. When you're hiking down steep terrain and it's raining and wet and slippery and treacherous, the number one tip is don't hike in the wet. <laughs> don't do it, it's just silly. However, if you do, make sure you're always putting your feet where you've got roots flat sections look here's a slippery section right here okay if you need to test it first I'm going to grab myself here like that and so if I do slip I'm holding onto a tree the idea is always step on where it's like grass or where it's a bit more um, dirt if you're going to step on slippery roots you can expect your feet to slide so yeah best not to hike when it's wet however sometimes you get caught in the rain and you get no choice so up to this sign 53 minutes and 1.93 kilometers from the summit which you can kind of see just behind the sign post up there oh. hello how are you traveling You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Very positive. Where will I go? Path. Okay. Yeah. It is a little bit wet, isn't it? There you go. Thank you. All right. Travelling all right? Yeah, good. Ah, that's the <laughs> way. Righto, and that is Walsh's Pyramid Hike. So, I got back to the car at 1.11pm. It took me one hour and 22 minutes to come down and a total of 3.28 kilometers to descend. It's a, it's a tough hike, one hour 38 minutes for me to ascend, one hour 22 minutes to descend. That gives you an idea. Um, and I was going fairly rapidly as much as I can. So give yourself a bit of time on this one. And just as an idea, I passed some people that were uh, a third of the way down, coming down when I was ascending. I went up, I spent about half an hour at the top. Yeah, I fluffed around up there and then I came down and I passed them coming down. So they were struggling. They, you know, they, they said they're okay, but you know, that's taking a long time to descend. This gives you an idea. Descending is hard up on the knees and upon your quad muscles. So if you're up here in far North Queensland, I hope you enjoyed this hike. I hope I was able to bring it out uh, even though I didn't get the full glory of a uh, cloudless view, but still the hike and the journey itself is amazing. And if you get to do this, expect it to be tropical humidity. I'm at the tail end of winter here. So there's a breeze, it's raining, uh, it's a bit miserable weather, but it uh, gives you a bit of an idea. But it's on the to-do list, take lots and lots of drinking water. There's no drinking source up here on a, on a uh, tropical humid day. Uh, here in Cairns, you're going to need a lot of water. Thank you for watching and uh, give the video a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you on the next hike.